Hey guys, I'm back and before I start, as always, I want to thank all of you who have subscribed since my last video or if you haven't watched my last video, the one previous to that one, we're now at 78 subscribers and I'm extremely excited. Thank you so much for subscribing. It means the world to me that you guys trust me so much to be subscribed. So before we move on to the point of this video, I wanted to quickly take a second to shamelessly plug some of the projects I'm working on. The first one is a reality TV show called Kings of Iron. It's about natural bodybuilders doing it without the drugs, without the steroids. Basically, it just uh, it shows their, their lives and the way that they work out and how they achieve the physique. It's a great show. I really believe in it. There's a Facebook and a YouTube. The links will be down below. Please check it out. It would mean the world to me. I'm working sound on that project. And I just, I've loved every second of working on this project. It's so great. And the guys have been so awesome. Um, so yeah, check it out. And if you like it, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, like the Facebook page. The other thing that I've been working on is uh, I've been working as an editor for a uh, website uh, by the name of Full Blown Sports. Basically, it's a website for athletes to highlight their achievements. And uh, it allows you to do that by, you know, posting up your videos, your pictures, your stats. You can add your friends on there. And I know a lot of you are not just musicians, but you're also athletes. So it's worth taking a look at that. And it allows you to neatly put together all your accomplishments in one place so that recruiters can check you out and they can check out what you've been doing. So check it out. If you like it, definitely you know tell everyone about it. Get on there, post all your stuff. And I look forward to uh, seeing a lot of you guys on there. Aside from that, I'm also on Tumblr now. I don't know how to use it. So if you guys would like to follow me and show me how to use it, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. As far as I can tell, I think I'm going to post all these videos on there and maybe use it as a place where I'll, I'll post like sales that I come up on and all that stuff. You know, try to get you guys some, uh, heads up on some really good deals on gear and stuff. I, I'll try to do one of those things. Before we get going with the point of this video, I just quickly wanted to address a mistake I made in the last video about plugging in a dynamic vocal mic into a guitar amplifier. And the mistake was that I told you you needed a mic cable with an XLR head at one end and a TRS head at the other end. What you actually need is this. This is the exact cable that we used in the last video and it's an XLR head at this end and a TS head at this end, a quarter inch TS head at this end. And uh, I'm not sure why I said uh, TRS, just I guess a slip of the tongue, I didn't catch it, but thankfully one of you wonderful people caught it and uh, it was someone by the name of Me Pones. So a big shout out to Me Pones. I hope uh, I'm saying that right. The YouTube user Me Pones uh, left uh, this brilliant comment down here. And it's just, not only is it a great example of how amazing you guys are, how respectful and insightful and awesome you are. And uh, you know, this just proves uh, why I love coming on on this channel and doing these videos and hanging out with you guys and talking to you guys You guys are the most respectful amazing uh, And insightful people on YouTube that I've had the pleasure of hanging out with and uh, not only does it show that but he actually corrects the mistake uh, that, that I made and uh, You know uh, delivers all that information uh, to you guys. So thank you me poems for that a big shout out to you and uh, of course Thank you to all of you who comment uh, because you're all equally as uh, articulate and amazing and and just respectful and awesome So thank you guys for that and thank you again me pones So when it comes to the design of this thing, I don't really have a problem with it The only thing uh, that concerns me is that it's a little bulky It's a little fat and I feel like if you're gonna be using this live a lot It might be a problem because it might put some stress on the input uh, uh, for the guitar amplifier uh, and that might eventually damage it so if you're going to be using this uh, you know basic mic setup a lot you might want to look at something like the audix t50k which basically has it's the same thing it's the transformer and then it kind of has a little bit of cable that keeps going on and then it has the quarter inch ts plug at the end so it, it would kind of hang a little bit like that and maybe put a little less stress on, on the input and that one runs for about double the price of this one. It's about 24 bucks or so. I've seen that one vary as well, different prices, but more or less $24. And I, $24 for, for something you're gonna be using a lot, that's, that's a pretty good investment for a piece of gear. But of course, you guys don't wanna hear me go on about you know the design of this thing and, and all that. You guys wanna hear what it does. And what it does is actually pretty awesome. So without further ado, we're gonna get to a demonstration of what this thing can do. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using my Shure SM58 and of course the Audio-Technica uh, CP8201. 
and I have them connected by this monster cable here with XLR connectors on both ends, female and male. And basically what's gonna happen is I'm going to plug in this end with the, uh, the CP8201 uh, into that amplifier right there, like so. So that's gone into the input. And then I'm going to obviously speak into this microphone. Uh, but before I do that, of course, I'm gonna switch off the overhead mic which is my AKG Perception 100, and switch on this mic right here, which is recording the, the amp, and that is, of course, my Shure SM57. So you should now be hearing me through uh, the SM58, uh, going into the amplifier, and being picked up by, of course, the SM57, and uh, my AKG Perception 120. And basically, this is what it sounds like. Um, uh, I got no feedback uh, because I'm on clean. Maybe if I move over here. Uh, no, I, I'm at a pretty low volume at the moment. Uh, it's uh, at two, two out of 10 on the, on, on the app there, on the clean channel. And uh, on the overdriven, oh, a little bit of feedback there. On the overdriven channel, I'm at two because earlier when I was testing it, I was getting a lot of feedback and I'll show you that right now. So there's the overdriven channel. Uh, I have to keep it this low, otherwise it gets pretty messy. If I get closer, I might get some feedback. Uh, not so much, but if I turn it up a little bit, do we get that and I just destroyed your ears? Uh, so I'll, I'll probably minimize that part and, uh, and uh, uh, save you from the horrible noise that just, uh, uh, just went straight into these headphones. Um, but uh, this is basically uh, the same the same idea as last time. Um, it's a uh, it's the same sound, just sounds a little clearer, uh, at least to my ear it does. It's a little cleaner. It's a uh, it's a little more audible. Um, actually, it's a lot more audible, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that in uh, just a second. Uh, so I'm going to switch back to the clean, of course. And of course, I can keep it louder um, on the clean channel because uh, it's not overdriven, so I don't get as much feedback. And uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is switch over to the cable I used last time, the STAG cable, and uh, show you the, the difference uh, that this transformer makes. I'm going to keep everything the same, and you're going to see just a huge difference in, in the volume level and uh, probably in the clarity as well. So I'll go ahead and do that. So now we're using the STAG cable I was using last time. And as you can hear, there's a huge drop off in the, in the volume. It's a lot lower. It's a lot less audible. It's uh, a little bit muddier, at least to my ears. It sounds it sounds like it's not as clear. Um, it sounds a little distorted. Uh, and to you to get any uh, usable volume, I have to uh, turn it up about to about five, so about halfway point for it to sound um, usable at all. And uh, so what I'll do now is I'll switch back to uh, the transformer and uh, we can take a listen with the transformer um, as you can hear the volume dropped significantly so we'll switch over now now we're back um, using the audio technica cp8201 and as you can hear the volume has gone on uh, pretty noticeably um, you should be hearing it a lot clearer and uh, a lot louder and uh, Basically, it, 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 this, uh, this is a safe way of uh, connecting your mic into your guitar amplifier and not destroying it. And it's uh, relatively inexpensive at 15 bucks. I really like uh, this particular transformer, and uh, I think I'll actually be using it a lot um, in the future. I got it specifically to, uh, to make this video for you guys, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, so uh, before I, I, I let you go... Uh, I'm simply going to do a, um, a little little song, the same song from last time, uh, just to uh, demonstrate that. And then we'll do a little bit of the, the growls on the distorted channel, just like we did uh, last time, uh, just so that you can compare between the two. And uh, the song last time, I believe, went a little bit like this. I'm a potato, I'm a potato spot, they call me tater tot. So hopefully that gives you a point of reference. Uh, you can uh, open up uh, two uh, windows and kind of A and B it between uh, what I did last time and what I did this time and see uh, 
uh, there's a huge difference, uh, and I think we've proven that there is a huge difference, and uh, you can see um, that difference uh, just play out. So now I'm going to turn on my overdrive on the Fender Frontman and do a little bit of growling just like I did last time so that you can do the same thing, kind of A and B it, and uh, you can see the, the difference. And now we're on the distorted channel, so uh, here we go. <laughs> I can't really remember what I did last time uh, because a lot of it was just uh, vowel sounds and whatnot. So um, we'll do one more, uh, just uh, so there's a couple of uh, different growls that you can compare. And this one we'll do. Yeah, yeah. Um, so hopefully uh, that gives you something to compare. And of course, uh, as you can hear, at least to my ears, uh, there's this sounds a lot better. Uh, for that whole uh, uh, airline pilot thing. If you want to do something like that, uh, the time is now 6.41 p.m. and we're about to land in New York. Um, I like it a lot better. Um, plus, I like the gritty, the grittiness. It's, it's, uh, the grittiness is uh, it's a lot more gritty, but it's a lot clearer. At least that's the way I feel. And um, yeah. So it's pretty awesome, and like last time, uh, Mary, no! to you. All right, guys, so that's basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to all of you who are subscribed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Remember to check out Kings of Iron and Full Blown Sports, and thank you for being the most awesome people on the internet. Next time, I have new gear, so stick around for that. We're going to be losing the AKG Perception 100 above my head in favor of something much more appropriate. And we will also be losing our room mic, the AKG Perception 120, in favor of something much more appropriate. So new gear and new videos coming soon. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.